Imagine the extraordinary moment when a nation takes its first leap towards the moon. This is the story of Pakistan's inaugural lunar mission, EcubeQ. Launched from the Chinese city of Hainan, the EcubeQ embarked on its journey aboard the unmanned Chang'e 6 probe. The launch took place around 5.27 in the evening, China time, at the Wenchang Space Launch Site. The Chang'e 6 mission, powered by the Long March 5Y8 rocket, successfully blasted off into space carrying Pakistan's first lunar mission. The successful launch was confirmed by Khalil Hashmi, Pakistan's top diplomat in Beijing. He proudly announced that the CubeSat, iCubeQ, will be deployed in the moon's orbit on May 8. This moment marked a significant milestone for Pakistan, symbolizing its entry into the era of lunar exploration. With the successful launch, Pakistan stepped into a new era of lunar exploration. The iCubeQ orbiter, a marvel of modern technology, holds the key to Pakistan's lunar exploration. A product of ingenuity and collaboration, the iCubeQ orbiter, also known as CubeSats, serves as Pakistan's eyes in the cosmos. Jointly developed by Pakistan's Institute of Space Technology, China's Shanghai University, and Pakistan's National Space Agency, SuperCo, the iCubeQ orbiter embodies the spirit of international cooperation and shared scientific curiosity. At the heart of this cutting-edge orbiter are two optical cameras designed to capture detailed images of the lunar surface. These cameras act as the orbiter's eyes, relaying crucial data back to Earth and providing unprecedented views of our celestial neighbor. But these cameras are more than just lenses pointed at the moon. They are the result of countless hours of meticulous engineering, rigorous testing and unwavering dedication to the pursuit of knowledge. The iCubeQ orbiter is not just a piece of technology, but a testament to human ingenuity. It represents the culmination of years of research, planning and collaboration between nations. It is a symbol of Pakistan's technological prowess and its commitment to advancing the frontiers of space exploration. But the CubeSats are more than just vessels for cameras. They also serve a broader purpose to facilitate scientific research, technology development and educational initiatives in space exploration. They're not just about reaching the moon, but about what we can learn along the way and what we can achieve when we dare to reach for the stars. As the iCubeQ orbiter sails through the vast expanse of space, it carries with it the hopes and dreams of a nation. It's not just a machine, but a symbol of aspiration, a testament to the power of human curiosity, and a beacon of progress in a universe full of mysteries, yet to be unraveled. And so, as we look to the stars, we also look forward to the 8th of May, when the iCubeQ orbiter is set to be deployed in moon orbit. It's a date marked in calendars, a moment anticipated with bated breath, a milestone in Pakistan's journey into the cosmos. The iCubeQ orbiter, Pakistan's first step towards the moon, is set to be deployed in moon orbit on the 8th of May. The Chang'e 6 probe, the host of the iCubeQ, has its own groundbreaking mission. This Chinese spacecraft is set to make history by collecting samples from the far side of the moon, a feat never before achieved in human history. The Chang'e 6 probe, much like its predecessor, the Chang'e 5, is a marvel of modern engineering. It consists of an orbiter, a lander, an ascender, and a returner. The Chang'e 5 successfully returned to Earth in December 2020 with the first lunar soil samples in over 40 years, paving the way for this new ambitious mission. But let's delve a bit deeper into the workings of the Chang'e 6. After a journey through space, the probe will make what's known as a soft landing on the moon's far side. This means it will touch down gently, minimizing the risk of damage. Within 48 hours after landing, a robotic arm will extend, ready to scoop rocks and soil from the lunar surface. Simultaneously, a drill will bore into the ground, enabling the probe to reach deeper, potentially more interesting layers of lunar material. All the while, scientific detection work will be carried out, turning this mission into a real-time data-gathering expedition. 
But the mission doesn't end there. After collecting the samples, the unmanned spacecraft will embark on the return journey to Earth, the landing site, North China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. The entire flight from launch to landing is expected to take 53 days, a round trip that will provide invaluable insights into our closest celestial neighbor. It's worth noting that the Chang'e 6 probe isn't just carrying Pakistan's iCube-Q on this journey. It's also transporting a number of other international payloads to the moon, including the European Space Agency's Lunar Surface Ion Analyzer, France's Radon Detection Instrument, and Italy's Laser Corner Reflector. This truly is an international endeavor, a testament to the power of global collaboration in the realm of space exploration. The Chang'e 6 probe's mission is a significant leap in the exploration of the moon's far side. Space exploration is not a solitary pursuit. It requires international collaboration and shared goals. This was evident in the momentous launch of Pakistan's first ever lunar mission, iCube-Q and the Chang'e 6 probe, which was a testament to global unity in the pursuit of knowledge beyond our planet. In the heart of all this, a significant international conference took place in Hainan, China. This gathering was not just a meeting of minds, but a convergence of shared aspirations and dreams. The conference was attended by top officials from 12 countries, including France, Italy, and representatives from the United Nations and the European Space Agency. This diverse group of individuals came together to discuss the vast expanse of space and the potential for cooperation among nations in its exploration. The Chang'e 6 mission itself is an exemplar of international collaboration. It carries more than just Pakistan's iCube-Q. Aboard this spacecraft, you'll find a myriad of international payloads, each with a unique purpose, each a testament to the power of global cooperation. From the European Space Agency, there's a lunar surface ion analyzer a sophisticated piece of technology that will study the moon's ionosphere, providing crucial data for future lunar missions. France has contributed a radon detection instrument, a device that will further our understanding of the moon's geological activity. Meanwhile, Italy has supplied a laser corner reflector, an instrument that will help scientists back on Earth measure the exact distance between our planet and the moon. These international payloads together with Pakistan's iCube-Q, represent a collective stride towards a future where space exploration is a shared endeavor, where the collective curiosity of humanity propels us to reach for the stars, to probe the deepest corners of the cosmos, and to seek answers to the questions that have captivated us since time immemorial. The Chang'e 6 probe's journey is not just China and Pakistan's achievement, but a testament to international cooperation in space exploration. It's a reminder that when we come together, when we combine our resources, expertise and dreams, there's no limit to what we can achieve. The cosmos is our shared frontier and together we're ready to explore it. The launch of the iCube-Q is a historic moment for Pakistan, instilling national pride and hope for the future. This statement is more than just words. The launch of the iCube-Q is a manifestation of the aspirations, hard work and determination of an entire nation. It's about a country reaching out quite literally to the stars and making its mark in the vast expanse of space. Pakistan's Prime Minister, Shehbaz Sharif, in his congratulatory message, celebrated this achievement, acknowledging the brilliance of the nation's scientists and the robust partnership with China's Shanghai University and Pakistan's National Space Agency, SUPACO. His words echoed across Pakistan, instilling a sense of unity and joy, a collective cheer for a job well done. But this moment is more than just a pat on the back for the scientists at the Institute of Space Technology. It's a beacon of hope for the future generations. It's a testament to the fact that the dreams of a nation, no matter how vast, can be realized with dedication, collaboration, and unwavering resolve. The successful deployment of the iCube-Q in Moon's orbit will pave the way for significant scientific research and technological developments.
It marks the beginning of Pakistan's journey into the realm of space exploration, a journey that holds untold potential for discoveries and advancements. The significance of this mission for Pakistan extends beyond the realm of science and technology. It's a symbol of national pride, a reminder of the country's potential, and an inspiration for its people. It's a story of perseverance, of pushing boundaries, and of aspiring for greatness. This historic moment in Pakistan's history is not just about reaching the moon. It's about reaching for the stars and beyond. It's a reaffirmation of the belief that the sky is not the limit, but just the beginning. It's a story that will be told and retold, inspiring generations to dream big, work hard, and never stop reaching for the stars. With the launch of the iCubeQ, Pakistan has embarked on an exciting journey of lunar exploration, marking a significant milestone in the nation's history. The iCube Q's journey to the moon is just the beginning. It marks a pivotal moment in Pakistan's history as we venture into the uncharted territories of the lunar surface. This mission, made possible by the collaboration with China, signifies a new era of international cooperation in space exploration. The iCube Q carrying two optical cameras, is set to provide us with fascinating images of the Moon. The mission's primary purpose is to foster scientific research, technological development, and educational initiatives in space exploration. The Chang'e 6 probe, the vehicle carrying our iCube Q, is tasked with an unprecedented mission to collect samples from the far side of the Moon. This is a first in human history and Pakistan is proud to be part of it. As we look towards the moon, we celebrate this historic moment for Pakistan and anticipate the exciting discoveries that await.